No firing has been reported along the international border in the LOC since 8 last evening. But the fear of a sudden attack still looms large. Most villagers along the border wear a deserted look with people being forced to flee their homes and take refuge in bunkers. Our correspondent Kamaljit Sandhu with this ground report. As the sun sets in Chanduchak, a border area village, there are tensions which are palpable and obviously you can see a depression out here. This is because of a motor shelling which really dropped here. The owner narrowly missed it and obviously he is lucky to be alive today. Uh, the impact could be seen on uh, this particular gate and obviously small uh, detections that we can really show on to you in, in this particular camera. But we will try and speak to more people around here. Uh, do tell us, uh, you from this village, what is the impact that that shelling really has on the people? What sort of fear factor uh, is there? Uh, Kamal, you can see in the people around, they are shell-shocked because it has never happened in the history of after independence that uh, such kind of shelling, such kind of mortar shells that were, uh, you know, literally banned in Shimla agreement that it will be only used in war times. There is no war as such, but there is an uh, unannounced war, uh, 81 and 82 mm. Uh, it's not war, but it is warlike situation and obviously continuous ceasefire violation seen from Pakistan. We'll try and get more reactions from here. Uh, this is an old man here. We'll try and speak to him. 1947 we are the border village of Abdulia and people have already started beginning to gather at the bunkers and obviously the shelling is already begun in one or two places but most of the people are trying to find a safe place. This is a safe haven, a small bunker and obviously you can try and see the space which is being created. The villages are going to lie low, we are going to spend that entire night with them but at this point of time what is important is safety. You can see there is the stretches. Uh, this is obviously the bunker which has been covered very well. It's camouflaged by all these sticks, uh, ground, trees and obviously you can see cemented bags out there. This is just to ensure that this is a very well camouflaged. Headlines team decided to spend the entire night in a civilian bunker and we are in Abdulia to show you what it is to be like in this particular bunker. The first room here is a large room. This is basically dedicated to women and ladies. But obviously every night has been a difficult night. There has been consistent shelling and firing taking place. So obviously a lot of people can't catch sleep. It's 3.30 in the morning and we are still at the bunker. There has been some firing and shelling from Pakistani side at around 9.30, 11.30 and 12.15. But there has been a consistent silence as of now. And, but we can also see there are certain tensions and that is why people are still awake. Uh, some of the people trying to go to the residence, uh, obviously they think it's much safer today than compared to other days. But yes, the tensions remain palpable. ये आपको लगता है कि सरकार और कुछ कर सकती है आप लोगों के लिए सरकार करना चाहे कर सकती है अगर सरकार ने कुछ करना है तो पहले हमारे लिए पीछे जगह रखे और हमारे पशु और हमारी फैमिली पूरी पीछे है उसके बाद जो मालिक आते हैं हम तो हमारे लिए तो बॉर्डर पर नहीं परेशानी बच्चे पीछे आसपुरा में बैठे हम लोग यहां पे बैठे पशु घर में है द फर्स्ट डे लाइट हैज कम इन एंड पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड डूइंग देयर ओन चोर्स these are the same people who spent a tensionful night right here in this bunker. Almost 50 people were here. 
most of the other residents including children had moved to safer locations but headlines team had spent 10 hours and we understood the sort of tensions these people go through and obviously these people only expect peace to return back so that they would have normalcy in their own lives with camera person Ravikant this is Kamaljit Sandhu in Abdulia village for headlines today